Well, it's TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. That's the time of day it is. That's the time of week it is. And you know what I'm doing. Of course, I'm featuring another coin and sharing my honest thoughts and opinions. And again, it's been sent in by Martin, the silver trader, for me to review, share with you guys the up-close details, and uh, let you guys decide whether it's something you want to buy or not. Now, uh, for those of you guys elsewhere in America or around the world, you, I'm sure you can pick these up from your dealers, no doubt at all there. Anyway, please be sure to check out the links down below under this video. We can find a link to the Precious Metal Forum, Martin's website, of course, The Silver Trader, and finally, my own personal website, Ace Bullion. And if that's not enough, if you stuck around this long right now, good news, my silver from the Edinburgh Assay Office is coming back, it's passed, so I'm excited. Here we go. Alrighty then. So I have in front of me the Australian Queensland Coat of Arms 2023 coin with a $1 denomination. We're going to have a look here and see because, well, both sides are actually very beautiful and very pretty and also rather intricate. So we'll start off with the reverse side. This is a side which has Queen Elizabeth's uh, portrait on, which is the, well, we know it as the fifth, Australians know it as the sixth. It's, yeah, it's a long story. But anyway, let's have a look here at the reverse and we can, I think I'm zoomed in way too much there. We can check these things out. So we have Queen Elizabeth uh, there off on the left hand side. And if we do zoom in, we're also going to see that um, they have paid tribute here um, to when she has reigned and also the date again, very similar to the Swan, but of course they've done it in a micro version there. They also have the Royal Crown there as well. Um, and then we have some Latin on the bottom and one ounce, uh, three nines fine silver AG, uh, chemical abbreviation or periodic uh, abbreviation for silver. On the bottom here in Latin, what that actually means is bold but beautiful. And uh, there it is. There's one of the stags. And uh, essentially what that uh, is to represent is that Queen Elizabeth had gifted uh, a herd of her private uh, deer um, to Australia um, a number of years ago now. And... Uh, well, they're thriving and, you know, it was just a, a, a really nice thing to do. Um, and yeah, it's lovely. Now, then you got the background with lots of motifs, rather intricate. Um, you also have the Maltese cross behind um, the crown there. And it is just, I mean, it really is awesome. Uh, I mean, this little bit here almost looks like it's a dove. It's not, it's clearly part of the design uh, and it's like a scroll or whatever it's difficult to really tell but absolutely amazing it does protrude it stands out on its own you have lots of uh high relief um you know with the high gloss and you also have this kind of semi matting which i don't mind uh it's the white matting that really bugs me so Along the edge, we do see here uh, a reeded edge going all the way along and rather strong and deep. And then here it is, $1 face value. And this is the side, of course, uh, the top side. And it has, well, a crane. Now, this is number three in the series. Um, they are minted uh, at 50,000, so that's some mintage in total. I believe I remember one being because I featured them both. Oh, goodness me. Um, and I'm sorry, I, I forgot to look it up. Um, but I remember one, of course, being the kangaroos. Uh, and I can't remember what the other one was. Uh, in the background here, as you can see, first off, you're going to get the miners uh, pick and shovel. You also have a rather playful ox. Uh, reminds me of a cartoon, I have to say. Um, I can't remember what cartoon it was, but it was a Disney one. So please, anyone with kids, 
I'm I'm hoping that one of you guys will remember which uh, which kind of ox uh, I'm looking at. I I, I just can't remember, uh, but it was funny. Now you have a cornucopia of uh, things here, uh, different fruits and so on and so forth. That's what it looks like at least. Uh, also some wheat, um, and there it is on the bottom. You have Queensland, and there is the stork now. Oh, sorry, crane, not stork. I'm, I've been really pushing myself not to say that. Uh, now, it is a very specific type, and I'm not going to try to pronounce it. It does be of the B, uh, but I know I'm just going to mess it up. And, you know, it's actually really, really nice. I would have liked to have seen perhaps some more of the gloss on the crane itself, as that's the main feature. Uh, instead of having just the $1 um you know being highlighted and queensland being highlighted so yeah perhaps that might have been a bit more standout-ish i.e maybe the background or uh, the surroundings all being said though this is a spectacular and beautiful coin and again you can see here how it is just ever so slightly raised from the surface so uh, it's very much mimicking a high relief coin, but not quite there. Obviously, you don't have uh, the depth and detail that you would on a high relief. So it's really good for a BU coin, I have to say. Now, as I said, said you could also pick these up pretty much anywhere. Silver Trader has them on his website. This is number three in the release. It's Friday, so I want to hear what your thoughts and opinions are on this. I'm going to see here if I can actually, if this is one of those coins that I can get out really easily or not. No, it isn't. It's one of those that has a perfect seal on the capsule, so I can't even get in my little nails in between there. I'm not sure which side I like more, uh, whether it be the crane or whether it be uh, the deer here. Uh, in a lot of ways, I quite like the deer side only because it's, more vibrant and it is it pops out at you and you have everything going for it now i appreciate that you know the series is based on which animal or uh critter it is and the crane is that of the hour but i would have to say uh in a lot of ways i prefer the deer side um just because of you know the intricate details you know, all along this. Um, so leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on this coin. Uh, which side do you prefer? I'm not trying to, you know, stick on the reverse just so that you can, you know, it favors that side, which I do. Um, but yeah, let me know which side you prefer. Also, if you're having notification issues as well, I'd love to hear from you about that because I'm going to be approaching YouTube again. I know a lot of people are having issues with notifications. So please also include that in your comment and uh, I can approach um, YouTube with that and say, look, here's at least X amount of people who do have issues and are not getting the proper notifications. And uh, hopefully YouTube will have a good look into it. Even though you, you may have your settings turned on to all notifications or whatever, um, I know there is these kind of glitches in the matrix, so to speak. So uh, I do want to approach it. And I am super excited, as I mentioned, that my silver has been uh, passed. It's you know passed all the tests and it's on its way back to me. I've already paid the bill. So there's no point wasting time. That's what I do. I got you know the three notifications and I paid it immediately. So I'm looking forward to sharing with you guys what I've created. Some of them are rather unique. Some of them you may have seen, some of them you haven't. I know that for a fact. So stay tuned, have a great weekend everyone, and I'll talk with you later. Bye for now.